Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay, and today I want to share with you what affiliate marketing is and really just explain it. I know you hear it a lot all over. If you're searching all the time how to make money online, this is one of the ways that you hear about. And I really wanted to explain it in detail for those of you that aren't sure what it is. And I want to show you too, answer some questions. What is it? Where do I go to get started? Why would I want to do it? What kind of industry would I use it in? Things like that. Affiliate marketing isn't just a business in, in, in and of itself. It can be, but every business can implement it. Every business can have a revenue stream of income coming from affiliate marketing. Uh, you know how you see a lot of those videos where people say, I have six different ways I'm making money. Well, many times affiliate marketing is one of those streams of income. So you never want to, just as a tip, you never want to concentrate on just one revenue of income. And the reason is if you're selling online, you're usually depending on other people's social media platforms. You're putting things on YouTube or you're putting them on Facebook or Instagram. What if that platform shut down? What if you were focusing on one stream of income, one platform, and it got shut down, your whole entire business is gone. So you, as you grow, you'll gradually add different platforms and different streams of income as you can handle it. So you're not gonna do it all at once, it takes time. I can't stress that enough. Nobody is gonna jump right in. Like today, if you're brand new, you're not gonna be making $1,000 a month by the end of 30 days. You're not gonna be doing that. There's a lot of work that has to be done. I always say it's just like building a house. You're not gonna go run outside, dig a hole in the ground and pour some concrete and then your house is ready. There's, there's all those different systems that need to be put into place until you have that full blown house. And then it depends on how big you build it, right? So let me explain what affiliate marketing is. Affiliate marketing is when you can generate income without having your own product. So usually when you have a business, we usually think of, oh, I gotta go invent something and then I gotta go sell it. I gotta you know, have it manufactured, all that. Those days are over. Um, there are ways of selling physical products without doing all of that, but that's not what this is about. That's a whole nother stream of income. What you're gonna be doing in affiliate marketing is just promoting other people's products. So let's say that you, I'll give an example. Let's say that you um, love dogs. You have a breeding business. I'm using something simple because I want you to see that it could be something you're already doing. You're breeding dogs and you start making content on YouTube about the different, because you love your dogs. You're always making videos and you're always showing different things and training them. Well, as you're raising these dogs and you ha you're breeding them, aren't you using a lot of products? So what you can do is start promoting those products that you're using that you love. You might say, you know, this is dog food that I use for my animals. It's all organic, it's natural, and I've noticed that my dogs are healthier, blah, blah, blah. And then you, you um, could sell or promote it from another company. Now, the other company has to have an affiliate program. So what I suggest you do, after you decide what kind of um, information that you wanna share, um, because you wanna be known for something. If you wanna be known for breeding dogs and selling a lot of dog animal products, then you wanna stay within that niche. You don't wanna all of a sudden start talking about a set of cookware. It doesn't connect. Um, and the reason is because you're attracting an audience to you and they're gonna say, hey, that's the lady that's really good at breeding dogs and she's got a lot of good information, I'm gonna follow her. Well, if you start talking about cookware, they're gonna go, that, I don't care about cookware, I'm, I'm gone. So stick within a niche is what we call that. But anyway, when you, um, you have to contact the company and say, do you have an affiliate program? And a lot of times they'll say, no, I don't, or yes, I do. And if they do, then you'll sign up. And I'll give you, give you an example of that in a minute. But basically though, in a nutshell, that's how it works. You promote somebody's product the customer says, you know what, I'm going to hit this link that you have and I'm going to go to that company's website and I'm going to um, go ahead and purchase that product. And then you get paid a commission from the company. Commissions can run anywhere from 5% to 50%. It really depends on what it is that you're selling. And you will find that out when you contact the company. So that's what affiliate marketing is in a nutshell. Now, what a lot of people do in the beginning is they think they're gonna go all over the place and find all these companies. There's places called ClickBank, you can go on Amazon Associates, and they, and they literally let you promote any product that they have. Like Amazon Associates has, you could go in there and promote everything that's on Amazon. The problem is with just going willy-nilly and 
finding a bunch of links is again you're not going to be known for anything and and people are just going to think well they're just trying to sell a bunch of stuff and i've seen people do that they'll throw links all over facebook or instagram and there's no um, cohesiveness to their business plan if that makes sense so please don't do that yeah maybe you'll make a few bucks here and there but you're not going to build a six-figure income by doing that okay so you want to figure out a niche now let me give you some examples okay let's say you're in the healthcare industry maybe you're already um, you're working out you have a shake that you like Beachbody is a good example it's a multi-level marketing company you you're already selling their products for them you're using their equipment their exercise programs you're using their products will start providing content out to the public about the products that you're selling and then people will hit your link and then you get a commission off of that so all multi-level marketing programs are already affiliate programs for the people that are signed up um, another example maybe you love keto you love that program to, to lose weight and you're really into it you're, you've got recipes and all kinds of stuff again you can start promoting products that you're using to help you with your cooking with the keto there's certain um, maybe uh, flour and stuff that you're going to use that isn't um, doesn't have wheat in it. Um, I can't think we're the almond flour. There you go. Instead of, you know, the regular white flour, there's different, you can get all those products on Amazon. They're there, but you're all keeping them within the keto niche. You might find some cookware that you like to use. You might have um, different appliances that you like to use, like that air fryer. You know, you get to have fried food without putting it in grease and things like that. So all those things it would be kind of your list of products that you want to promote because you're using them and it fits within your niche now a couple other examples um, let's think let's say that you like to play the piano or you like to play an instrument a guitar or something you could promote um, lessons or something that you want to provide so it's more of a service um, to people now that wouldn't be an affiliate program so maybe that that's another stream of income I was just trying to think off the top of my head but you could promote um, different music um, uh, written music that comes from a company and you could promote that play it with your guitar and then have people maybe purchase this sheet music through you as an affiliate that's just some simple examples maybe art art would have more products maybe you um, are an artist and you'd like to do all the different um, genres i guess it would be in the art i'm not sure if i'm using that right that would be in reading but um the different styles of art you have the charcoal and the watercolor and the pastel not the pastels the acrylics and things like that and you could promote um show people in your content how to use those products and then promote them and then people would buy them through you so i hope you're getting the idea a another big one construction maybe you are in construction and you could make tons of do-it-yourself videos how to lay floor by yourself hey i know a company that you could go to and buy flooring maybe i haven't checked but maybe menards or home depot or or lowe's maybe they have an affiliate program um affiliate programs are becoming more and more popular because people are buying online and your stores like that are starting to realize that this is the better way to go it's cheaper they don't pay you unless you bring them a customer when you run ads you have to pay the ad whether you get a customer or not but if you start an affiliate program and you have thousands of people promoting your products it's a win-win-win situation because you're not putting out any advertising and you're just paying people after they bring you a referral and a purchase and the person buying is happy the person getting the commission is happy and the company is happy it's a win 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 situation so those are some examples now I want to answer a question with that where do you go to get the links I kind of mentioned it already but you would what I did when I first started and I knew what my niche was and everything I just started googling like sometimes I will be doing some research okay um, to help me with my business and I might be looking at different software tools so one of the things I, I promote a lot of things on YouTube and and how to use YouTube and things like that but there's different software tools that I use in my business that I like to share with people so that they can use them and help them with their business as well and so let's say I'm looking for um, search engine optimization tools or um, uh, software tools that will help me um, promote my keywords and things like that well some companies out there 
do not have affiliate programs. And so I'm not, you know, maybe I'm not going to promote that one or maybe I'm not using it, but another company does have an affiliate program. So that might be a reason why I might choose them after I compare them. Sometimes they're pretty even in, in what they provide. So you always want to ask the company, do you have an affiliate program? And if they do, then by all means, you can promote that, especially if you're in the healthcare industry, there's different vitamins and shakes. And, you know, even if you're with a multi-level marketing company, you don't have to stick with just their products. They don't have everything under the earth in that uh, genre, if that makes sense. So you can go off and or in that niche, um, you can go off and find other things that you might use. Maybe there's vitamins or things like that, or lotions you use or whatever different exercise equipment. There's so many things that you can add in within your niche into your product list that you're promoting. So that's how you find them. Um, you might say, I want to find a really good dumbbell set. So maybe you go Google it. And then when you find one you like, ask the company, do you have an affiliate program? And you're going to find a lot of times that they do. And if they don't, that's fine. Just go off and find another one. Um, how, how do you share all this? And you know, you hear me talking about links and things like that do not <laughs> you do not just go to facebook and say hey i found this great dumbbell set boom there's my link first of all facebook considers that spamming you are not allowed to do that now can you go on there and share your story about how you found this wonderful dumbbell set you've been looking all over i'm just using that as an example but you've been looking all over look at the results that you've gotten you love the stand that it has it's really easy to access easy to store blah 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 you can share all that and have a picture of yourself a lot of people and you might say hey if you have any questions just pm me a lot of people might ask you well how do i get that and then in the private message you can say here is the link so you have to not just throw the links out now in my opinion the best way to get those links out is to start a blog or a youtube channel and i'm just going to throw that out here right now because when i first started everybody kept saying just pick one platform instagram or facebook or twitter and not knowing what i was doing i picked facebook i, I was already on there and i thought well, i'll just pick facebook in my opinion it is better to start a blog or start a youtube channel and you might be scared saying oh my gosh that seems so big it's not i'm saving you lots and lots of time because those are search engines. Those are places that people ask a question in Google and they say, you know, where's the best set of dumbbells? Well, you might have a YouTube video made about that, or maybe you wrote a really nice blog. You have a chance of being searched for and people will find you. And then right in the blog, you've been in these blogs before where they have the little links, like just hit this link if you're interested. Um, or you just start talking about it and you have a hot link there and they hit it, it takes them right to that website and they can purchase it. Um, when you do a YouTube channel, you just say, hey, check out my link below. I have actually a free ebook for affiliate marketing, four step plan, free, hit the link below. I have a coaching program that you can fill out the application for. And actually, I don't take tons of customers at a time or clients, but fill out the application, see if there's an opening. Um, and if you, if you qualify, you'll hear back. So anyway, those two links are below. As an example, I keep links way below that even about what are, what are some of the, what's some of the equipment that I use. I've put, you know, sometimes I'll do a video on that because people ask, do I need to go out and buy all this expensive equipment? No, there's simple things that you can get and they're, you know, and I'm not the only one go to any other YouTube channel. When they talk about things, they're going to share the links below and you can make your mind up whether or not you want to hit that link. So that's where, um, that's how you share the links and you just do it with conversation. You don't, you don't have to go into a salesy selling mode. You're just sharing. And again, you can hit the link or not, and that's okay. But hopefully you've learned something, you know, within the content. Um, so how do I, here's a tip for you. Okay. The, obviously the first thing you need to be thinking about if you're starting, if you want to start affiliate marketing and you're brand spanking new, you want to think about a business that you're creating a niche. Okay. You have to have that. And I actually share that in my guide about, uh, you know, what kind of niches, uh, how, the importance of it. And, and that's actually set number one, it's in there. Um, but if you don't know for sure, if what you're thinking about is even going to be something that people are interested in, Google it. 
this is what I would suggest you do. If you have something you're thinking about, let's go back to the dogs, okay? And you have an idea around your dog or whatever, whatever you love, maybe your cats, and you're not sure, start asking questions. What are the kind of questions people would ask that would bring them to my topic? Then Google it. And when you Google it, you can see how many searches there's been. Now, here's a tip on the tip. You don't want it so small that nobody's looking for it because then nobody's looking for it. But you also don't want it to be so huge that it's so competitive that you're going to get lost in that big ocean, okay? You want to find something that's more like a lake and you want to be the fish in the lake, not in that big ocean, okay? You want to be in a group that yes people are looking for this but you know what there's not a lot of competition in this area and those are um, just some basics as you're looking for the niche you want to be in healthcare industry is always very very popular um, relationships is very popular and wealth if you get into any one of those three areas it will be around forever and ever and ever but then what you need to do how can i fit in with the healthcare industry and be different than everybody else. Now, I mentioned Beachbody. You wanna just go out and say, I'm promoting Beachbody. Well, there's tons of people promoting Beachbody. You wanna promote yourself in a different way that makes you stand out. Maybe you're gonna promote it for women 50 and over. And that narrows down your target audience and then those people, you know, start searching and asking questions in different ways and see how you can kind of narrow down the, the niche that you're in. And then from there, start looking for products. Okay, that's step two. Find your niche, start researching products from all kinds of different companies. And then number three, how are you gonna provide content and get it out there to the public? Because you need to build an audience. And again, I recommend a blog or a YouTube channel. Now you're saying, no, that's only three steps. Those three steps could take you a year to really get solidified and in a position where you're really bringing in some money. It could be longer. You've got to get content out there so people know that you're serious. You might be the smartest person on the planet in that area, but let's say you decide to do a YouTube channel and you only put out one video every other week. You're not going to grow very fast. People want more content. Um, what I did in the beginning, and now I think it was crazy, but my first year I put out a video every single day. Um, and what I did is as I was learning about things in my niche, I was doing how to videos. Um, how do you do this? How do you do that? Very simple. And some of them were three minutes. I didn't care. I didn't have an audience. I think I had eight subscribers um, the first eight weeks. I mean, it was pathetic if you think about it, but I stuck with it. I kept on making those videos, kept putting the content out. And now I'm at a point where I only do two a week. I'm doing two a week because I enjoy it and I'm actually connecting it to a new blog that I started. But it takes time is my point. It's not going to happen overnight, but you really need to think it out and you can make good money. Affiliate marketing is a great way. And this is what I love about affiliate marketing. Um, when I first started, I didn't understand what I was doing and I did find a bunch of links and threw them out there. And it was funny because now I've narrowed it down. I only have certain ones that I really promote because I learned the hard way and that's what I hope I'm avoiding for you. But it was funny about three weeks ago, I got money put into my checkbook from a company that I signed up for a couple years ago and I don't even promote them, but the link was there. I didn't go back and, I, well, actually I've tried to go back and get out of affiliate things, but sometimes there's no way to delete it. It's just sitting there. Um, the company probably figures, hey, we'll, we'll leave those links out there. But anyway, I had money put into my checkbook. So it's very, very exciting. Um, but that's what happens is that even after you do all the work and you set everything up and the links are out there, Facebook, or Google or YouTube, your links are there and people will keep searching. They're not going away unless YouTube shuts down or you delete the video. So the money keeps coming in and that's called passive income. Passive income after all the hard work is done. Um, and that's basically how it works. Please tell me in the comments if this was helpful because I was trying to just put it down into a nutshell of how it works. But there's a lot of, um, those are the three basic things that you need to do but in each area 
then you need to learn you know the details of that but i hope that was helpful subscribe to my channel i promise you two videos a week and i help you get your business started and i can't wait to see you on the next video thank you